Hi, I'm Tasma Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make an anti-pollution cleanser. Now, let me show you how to put it together. Okay, so firstly I have my water phase here. I've got nothing to add into there just yet. Um, and then I've got my phase B ingredients here. So in my bowl, I've got some Genogen CAB, which is the Cocomidal Propyl Betaine. So this is a really good amphoteric surfactant. This is gonna help keep my cleanser mild and it's also gonna boost the foam as well. Now to this, I am gonna be adding some of this Hostapon SCI 85 in the powder form. You can get it in waxy form and also liquid, but I'm using the powder form today. So I'm gonna add that in there. And I've also just got some diesel glucoside. This is a non-ionic surfactant. So this is gonna help keep it mild. It's also gonna thicken it up a little bit. Um, and my anionic surfactant here is gonna help do the cleansing and also um, create some foam. Now the Hossapon SCI is a acithionate, so these are actually quite mild surfactants to begin with, um, but in a face product, you do wanna add a low active input of surfactant just to ensure that you keep it mild and doesn't cause any irritation. So I'm just gonna give that a little stir. Bring it together as much as you can using low shear, and then we're gonna add it into our water phase. So just gonna give that a little stir using low shear. You don't wanna use high shear or any vigorous mixing because it will cause foam and lots of bubbles. And we don't want that because in a small lab sample, it does take time or a few days for the bubbles to disappear. Okay, and now I'm just gonna add this on heat. You will need to gently heat the Hostapon SCI to incorporate it. It just needs gentle heating, so I've just put it on a low heat. So once that's homogenous, we are gonna remove that from the heat. Now to give my cleanser a bit more viscosity, I am gonna be adding a gum. So I've got my Videscence Anthem here. This is gonna be added into some glycerin to slurry because it is a natural gum. Now I love this grade of Xanthan because it is so easy to slurry. It's such a nice smooth particle and it also gives you pretty clear products as well. Okay, once you've got a smooth slurry, we are gonna add that into. You can see that's starting to thicken up. Full viscosity will be achieved the next day. So it may not be that thick now, but it will be at the next day. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add my active. So I'm using the XOP by Lucas Meyer, and this is my anti-pollution active. Now this is used in skincare and hair care. It's got benefits for both. And it's also got benefits for wash off and leave on products. So I'm just gonna pull some efficacy data up on the screen here for this active. So you can see here that it's got multiple protection against skin pollution. So it reduces skin adhesion of PM 2.5. It chelates heavy metals. Um, it fights free radical activity as well, which also produces oxidation in the skin and can damage cells. Um, so that's really good. It decreases hydrocarbon and heavy metal induced damage. Um, it protects the hair. It also protects and cleans immediately the skin. It's got fast action as well, works within seven days. It helps provide a luminous, healthy glow on the skin. You can see here in these two graphs as well, um, some results of it neutralizing heavy metals to reduce their skin and hair toxicity. 
You can see in this one here, it protects and prevents skin damage caused by free radicals. So that's from environmental stresses and also it can be from the sun. So free radicals is what's caused by cell damage from these environmental factors. So it helps with that. And you can also see here that it protects our skin and cells against urban pollution to prevent premature aging and irritation. So overall, this is a really good active to use in both leave on and wash off and also for your hair and your skin. So it's got really good benefits there. Um, I'm just gonna be adding a glycerin base extract as well. You can pick one of your own. I'm just adding this in for purely marketing purposes. And lastly, my preservative. Give that a stir. Then we're just gonna check and adjust our final pH. Now, acetheonates uh, tend to work better and sit around a higher pH of around six to 6.5, sometimes even up to seven. So it is a higher pH than other surfactants. But don't let this scare you because we do have some materials in there that are gonna help with keeping it mild, like our non-ionic surfactants. Um, our amphoteric and also the Possipon SEI is a mild anionic surfactant anyway. So, Okay, so that's sitting at about 6.2, so that's, that's good. I'm gonna leave that one there. And as always, cover and leave until the next day. Okay, so here's what my cleanser is looking like the next day. As you can see, that's thickened up quite a bit. So that's not gonna drip from the hand when we're pouring it, which is good, that's what we want. Now I am gonna be adding a little bit into my hand and just showing you how well it foams. So it's creating some nice foam there. It's got really nice slip as well, so that's gonna help spread it over your face quite well. It's nice and soft as well. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to create an anti-pollution cleanser for your face. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, leave any questions in the comments below, and make sure you subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating.